So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create uh, another Jira Agile Kanban board um, from an existing project and how you can make sure that it, it shows up when you send it out to your teammates or when you ask them to access it. Um, that, that's one of the issues that our team has come across in the past is that, um, and I've personally come across it, is that you create a new board and um, tell people about it and they try and go there and it's, it's not visible for some reason and then you have to spend um, you know, an hour trying to figure out why it's not visible. So there's one really common reason. There's several common reasons. Um, a lot of it comes down to the filtering and then also uh, the configuration um, shares. It's what uh, Jira calls shares. So I'm going to show you those two things. Um, so let's see. We can either uh, start here. We can go to board, uh, create board. Um, another way of doing it is to go to the Agile dropdown and click on Manage Boards. We're going to do it that way because I like to be able to see all of the different boards that I have. And then up in the right we have a button for Create Board. I'm going to create a Kanban board. I'm going to create this from an existing project rather than from a new one. And let's just call it our new Kanban board. Select the project and create the board. Success! Great. It was that easy. Now you'll notice that if I go back to uh, the board that we were just looking at, the columns are different, right? And that's because the new Kanban board is mapped to uh, the Jira Agile default workflow and workflow scheme. Um, and the columns haven't been adjusted by us yet. Um, I did that in a previous video uh, for you guys. Um, but you'd have to go in and do that to get this uh, the way that you want it. So right now we're going to stick with the defaults. Um, and uh, let's see, our next step is to go ahead and um, configure this board. And starting from the general uh, uh, page and the settings here in the configuration, um, you can see that, that this is the filter that it's using, right? So it automatically created this new uh, filter for new Kanban board. We're going to click Edit, uh, Filter Query. Um, and essentially, it's just grabbing all of the issues that have uh, that are in the replay development project. So we're going to add something here. We can type in and um, component, um, and the Jira query language language is kind of nice because it helps you out a lot. So we're going to do everything that has the component uh, of Node slash backend uh, attached to it, and um, we can uh, we can save this filter as new name. Let's say we want to name it updated updated new Kanban border filter. Okay. And now, you know, there's all kinds of funny little things with Jira here. This isn't yet associated with uh, with the board, um, but what we can do is is click click back on yes, we'll click back on this. Okay. Sorry, I made a mistake, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and redo this. I'm going to put node back end. Okay, now we have it. And now I'm going to go search for issues. And now I'm going to go save. Okay, and so I've, I've saved this. And now if I were on a, another uh, board here, um, I can go back and click on it. Um, and so... Um, I'm going to go, let's just go back to our new Kanban board. Um, and if I could show you some of these, you would see that it's actually, uh, it's actually not working yet because some of these don't have the component uh, backend attached to it, right? But they're still being shown. So that's what we have to change next. So once again, if we go to um, board configure, and now, instead of clicking on this, the Edit Filter Query, we just want to click on this Edit Menu. It's kind of deceiving, not a great UI slash UX here, but we can, we can select which one we want. And it was the updated new Kanban board filter. Okay, and now uh, the tasks that are shown on this board are going to reflect the fact that they, they must have that component is equal to node or backend attached to them. Okay, and then the last thing, this is the most important thing in terms of getting this shared. Right now, if you were to send this to anybody on your team or ask them to go to it, um, if they went to projects or if they went to Agile, 
you know, manage boards, they wouldn't see it there and they wouldn't see it in their dropdown. So what you have to do is click on edit filter shares uh, and you have to go to everyone or you can you know do a group or you can do a project um, uh, and we're gonna do the project and I'm gonna say actually let's just do everyone uh, and then you have to click add um, and it's gonna share that with everyone you see it adds this down here and then let's just go let's do project okay I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna leave it as all and I'm gonna do add um, on project replay development okay yeah so let's save that we could have gone back and, and clicked all um, but basically now the board is going to actually show up um, for other people and uh, if when they go to agile it doesn't show up in their recent boards their drop down then what you can tell them to do is go to uh, manage boards and then it will show up there they will see new kanban board and if they click on it once to, to go to it. From that point forward it will show up under the recent boards in the Agile drop-down menu. And just to close the loop, um, we are now showing only tasks that have that, uh, that back-end component attached to them. So if we open this you can see it has the node back-end and it's the same for all of the tasks. And that is it. Thanks for watching.